Super Seducer, a game that teaches you how to speak to girls. Of course, I don't need to use this game. I mean, look at me. Just ask one of my many girlfriend friends. Uh, maybe I should give it a little look then, um, just to see, you know, not not that I need it. I just, you know, just just to, to just see. Yes, guys, that terrible intro is correct. We are playing <laughs> Super Seducer. Um, I don't know what this channel's come to, but here we go. Um, we're going to be playing and we're going to be learning how to um, seduce. I don't know what that was. Let's just get on with the game. All right. So so far, the gameplay has amounted to a white box. Hey mate, oh, Richard geez, Lamarino, your friendly neighbourhood seduction guru there here, he is. and welcome to... Oh, you intro in the video, mate? I've just done it. We had a fantastic what, time. What's going on? <laughs> I hope that you have, I hope you really enjoy it. Alright, so after that uh, beautiful introduction, uh, <laughs> we're here, we're playing uh, Super Seducer. We're going to be going through certain scenarios and uh, choosing what we would do in those scenarios. And um, this handsome young man here is going to be rating us and telling us how well we do. Oh, look at this. This is a packed game, mate. Look at this. Jesus Christ. Ten scenarios. Jesus bloody Christ. We're going to be a while. Let's start off with the, the classic, the classic scenario. Girl on the street. You're walking and a girl catches your eye. Can you stop her? Get her to talk to you? And make her want to see you again? The goal of this scenario is to get an instant gate. No, it's not to get an instant gate. It's to get an instant date. <laughs> This is gonna go so well. Let's just uh, let's just play this out. So what I like about this game is that most games will have like a loading thing, so you could see that the game's loading, like a progress bar or something. This game's like, nah, we're getting none of that. We're having a black screen, so you don't know whether the game's frozen or whether it's. No, oh, here we go. Shh, 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 shh. The seducer type. Shh, everyone, concentrate, concentrate. Look at this guy. Look. Oh, this is, I'm getting some bad vibes from this already. Oh, no. Okay, so the goal is to get her attention. Unfortunately, it hasn't got the seventh option, which is the option I would do, which is avoid all eye contact and walk past her, um, which is um, <laughs> which is generally what I would probably do. Wait until she is passing you, then talk to her. Pretend to be blind. I'm going to say my honest answer, being the um, love guru that I am, is probably A, is you want to keep that distance um, apart and you want to be slightly to the side. I don't know why you want to be slightly to the side. That makes no fucking sense. I just, you know, we've got to pretend to be blind. Because she might she might like it. She might like the idea that you're blind. She might know that you're goofing around. And, you know, we might get a funny scenario out of it. So, um... Oh, boy. It's worse than I thought. <laughs> um. It's worse than I thought. That's not pretending to be blind, mate. That's just being an idiot. Like, blind people don't do that. Very funny, but, you know, in most cases... Actually, it wasn't that funny, mate. I'm just, just throwing that out there. All right, so we're going to go with our serious answer, uh, which is talk to her for a few metres in front and um, slightly to the side. I don't know what the slight to the side bit has to do. I'll be honest with you, that's baffled me. But uh, you want to maintain a distance um, from the woman. You know, you don't want to go straight into her space uh, because you have to sort of have approval to go in there. Stand a distance away, shows that you respect her uh, distance, respect her privacy. I don't know what I'm saying. Here we go, watch this happen, but this is it. I'm getting some bad vibes. That's correct. When you That's correct, on, did you hear him? You need That's to be correct. Directly in front of her. Super seducer, and also leave right here. Space so that she can slow down and comfortably stop. Yeah, that's basically what I said, mate. Basically what I said. I think you're really beautiful, I'd love to go down on you right now. I mean, to be honest with you, we're all thinking D, but you can't say that because then they get offended. So you have to choose, you have to be sly about it. Tell them, tell them a girl she looks elegant. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a different sort of compliment. It's not like physical, I guess. So it's like, um, you know, I like saying, oh yeah, you look beautiful because it shows that you're more about their personality rather than their looks. So I'm going to go with that, actually. Because I think if you call a girl... I've never called a girl elegant before in my life. But I think by calling a girl elegant, she would appreciate it. Hey, excuse me. Can I tell you something really quickly? Sure. You look really elegant. 
I mean, do people really do this? Are you serious? This is good because you've good. given her a nice compliment. It's direct. It's made her smile. It's a nice, confident way to start in the street. Yep, in the street. You start off, hey, girl, you're looking elegant today, you know? And she's like, we're well, going on a date. And you're like, yeah. What's your plans for today? To feed the yeah. squirrels with my friend. And ducks? Or... <laughs> no. You're That's making jokes about squirrels, mate. This is not good. Well, so they're really cute, aren't they? Can we get off yeah, the subject cute. of squirrels? Yeah, That's fine. And what are you doing today? <laughs> B is just, oh, it's a beautiful response here. She's talking about squirrels and everything, and you're like, you're just so beautiful. Like, can we just make out? Like, you know, I kind of want to see that. But I know that C is probably the right answer because I think she would probably feel more comfortable if you did most of the talking. I'm just, I'm just going to go with B because I just want to see it. It's not the choice I would make. I want to make that clear. A little disclaimer. Would not make this choice. Just want to see it happen. All right. You're just so beautiful, and I want to give you a kiss. Whoa! Whoa! No, whoa! No, whoa! No, 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 no. I'm not trying to fuck whoa. you in the ass or anything. Just a little kiss. Fuck you. I'm not trying to fuck you in the ass. Oh, I'm gonna get bollocked for that choice. I know. This is the definition of. If you want to make a sexual advance on a girl, it's cool. You do it smoothly, and you do it at the right time. Smoothly and the right time. Not in the street. And not during the day. We're going to go with my honest answer now, which is C, uh, you do most of the talking. It depends if he's going to talk about himself. If he talks about himself, then he's going to be annoying. But if he talks, if he does the talking, but sort of involves her, then then it's good. Judging by the look in this guy, he's just going to talk about himself, you know, so this might be the wrong choice. Yeah, I was just walking. There's a nice park down there. And then I'm going to meet some friends. Nah, this is weird, I've got, like, 40 minutes I just came from the park, that's why when you know. I saw you, and I thought you looked friendly. I don't like that. I don't like this talk of parks and everything. We need to get off the subject. A nice spot where they rent out bikes. You ride bikes in there? Well, I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> penny farthing, penny farthing, penny farthing. Um, A is basically assault. B is um, pervy. C is probably also pervy. D is good because it makes it starts a conversation by saying that she looks artistic and E you're just talking about yourself, she's gonna get bored. So I'm gonna go with D. Final answer. Where's Chris Tarrant and you? Where is he? <laughs> and tell me what you do because you you look a bit artistic. You look a bit artistic though, don't you? <laughs> um well I actually work in non profit. Non profit charity, yeah. Ah, uh, I like making profit, so that's Oh jeez. I'm not even going to explain this, but I'm just going to click that one. I think we've put enough time into this. We need to get something out of it. We're going to look... <laughs> I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. Don't don't go looking up people's skirts. I just want to see how he filmed it. Like, that's that's where my interest is. Well, hey, you've got something on your foot there. Let me just get it. Hey, what the fuck? Oh, you nearly got away with it there. It was quite sly about it, you know. <laughs> True gentleman. I would say... Judging by what I've seen of this guy, he would ask her name and then say it's his name too. It's not funny, but in the awkward situation it might be. He sort of seems like the type of guy that would pull this off. Um, so we're going to give it a go. If her name's like Sam or um, Alex, then we'll be okay. What's your name? Alexa? No way, you're joking. No. That's my name too. I'm oh. Alexa too. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. No, I'm joking. My name's Richard. Ah. Ah. Ah, Richard, you old joker. And it's another thing where it's guaranteed to get a laugh. And it's a question... Guaranteed to get a laugh. I don't think it's guaranteed it's to get one. a laugh to say it. that you've got a girl's name. Would you stop someone on the street and ask them their name and then ask them say it's your name, and then ask him if they want to go to the park and ask them whatever else we've done in this gameplay. Yeah, I try to be outdoors as much as possible. I actually bike where you mentioned. Okay. Um, yeah, I just try to be outdoors. So you're one of these active people that's always doing stuff? <laughs> yeah, act are you one of these active people? Down. Not couch potato. Given the choice, I often just chill at home. That's I like fair. chilling. Yeah, I just I just chill at home, yeah. Um, can I have your phone number? <laughs> I love how casual you look. I hate girls that always try to look... Oh. Oh, that doesn't sound good to me. I would probably try and sell her on one of my hobbies. Because um, she said that she's got a few hobbies that she likes doing. She said she goes biking and whatever. 
So probably that's the best thing to do. B basically is like, yeah, I've got to go now, but I'll have your number. You're very in control. I'll probably try and sell her on one of your hobbies, even though you basically said that you don't got any. Given the choice, I often just chill at home. Couch potato. Hopefully we'll make something up and we will, you know, sell her on that. And then that's the thing. If you come up with a hobby that you've got an interest, you're like, oh, well, that's something then you can do together. You know, if you both like skiing in Switzerland and you're like, oh, yeah, that's great. Oh, why don't we why don't we go together? You know, I'm going next week. Why don't you come along? Bam! You know, instant date. Goal accomplished. Let's move on. Have you ever tried climbing? You know, like on these walls. <laughs> got some place that we go to. We go. I've only been like four times. Exactly. But it's really fun. Very good exercise exactly. and just really cool. So you should definitely try it. Yeah, should we'd like it. to. With me. You should try it with me. Next week, Saturday, 10 a.m. Let's go. I'll do that like, little cat impression because like, do you go climbing? Like climbing? You know, like on these walls. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Any other like outdoor activities? Given the choice, I often just chill at home. Yeah, loads of stuff. Yeah. Um, racket sports. Like tennis? Um, yeah, tennis. Yeah, tennis uses sports. a racket. Well done. <laughs> She's intelligent. For English. The ball is um, only like that big. See, I'm going to go with B and C. Is a programmer something that a girl would want? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'd be passionate about it. Go, yeah, I'm a programmer and I flipping love it. You gotta be passionate about what you do. Even if you're not. People think IT is boring, but no. at the moment it's like the most exciting field, right? To work yeah. in. There's so many cool she companies. I really love my job. She's gonna appreciate the fact that you are um, passionate about it, I think. If you have a job and you think it's boring, that's not important. Um, the important. thing that you need to do is show that you have passion for something. Showing passion, showing that as a man, you are capable of emotion. Because I would normally think if you had a boring job, like I've had boring jobs before, you just sort of say, yeah, but it's like, I don't really enjoy it. Because then it shows that you're not happy with where you are and that you want to progress. But then on the other hand, if you're passionate about it, it shows that you're capable of passion. So do you always stop girls in the street? Ooh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh she's caught on. Well, I would say C, because B sounds a bit like, oh no, never, never, never do it. You know, it sort of seems fake, whereas I think he is the type of guy that stops a lot of people on the street. So I'm going to go with C. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I kind of want to see how D would play out. I just, I just, I just want to see how it play out. I don't agree with it. I just want to see how it play out. This girl is so bad. We've had so much build up, so much connection making, and then he's just like he just ruins it in a single sentence. You know. Well, you know what? There's a special oh, quality geez, I look go. for, and I would only stop girls if they have that exact thing. So okay. it's quite, yeah. you know, something special going on. No. Do you want to know what it is? The quality. <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, oh, it's just Richard. when the girl just looks like she's dying. To be fucked and basically excuse me yeah like no. she's just ready to Richard, bang no, no that's then. vulgar that's oh. really vulgar mm. vulgar yes no yeah uh, i don't know what i expect really um it went better than i thought it was i did imagine he was going to stand there and go dying to get fucked and it's like like mimicking it or something but that was only going to go one way but yeah we're going to take it back uh once we get our little bollocking from richard and say you don't do that. It's like, I know you don't do that. I was doing it as a joke, Richard. It was a joke. That's totally cool in the game, but in real life, I must tell you that you shouldn't even swear at girls, never mind getting sexual. As a man, you have a responsibility to treat women with respect and always make sure that they feel better after the interaction with you than they did before. No matter how rude they are, they've got a right to be rude. And if they're not rude, then even more reason to be polite and make them feel good. Wow, Richard, that was quite deep, man. You've you put me in my place. C is quite good because it says not too often because it shows that you're not doing it all the time. But when I like the look of someone, so you're sort of dropping that in there that you like them and also dropping in there that you're single. So it sort of slyly puts in rather than going, are you single? You're sort of going, yeah, well, you know, I like when I like the look of someone, you know. And, you know, when I'm single, you know, so it, it sort of drops the hints, um, which is a much more subtle way of doing it, really. Not often at all, but I think when I'm single, 
when I'd like the look of someone, <laughs> when I'm I figure why single. not start a conversation because you never know what will happen. Yeah. Could become friends, could date, She's smiling. or just have a nice She's interaction. Smiling. Why she not, right? It. Definitely. 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 Did you hear that, guys? We got to definitely. Oh, she agrees. We're in there. Yeah, well, I don't do it very often, but when I'm single... <laughs> to take her back a little bit but it's going to also show that you're telling tr the truth that she can Dude. trust you and you show that you're that confident Richard, enough to, to say that instead of making up some rubbish so it's the right too busy making well sequels he ain't got time to retake these he's just got to go with it oh boy here we go this is the finale here we go listen i have a few minutes why don't we grab a coffee well it depends if she's going somewhere doesn't it? i don't know she might be doing this mind you she's been standing here for about 20 minutes so Listen, I need to meet some friends, but I'd like to see you again. What's your number? No, because then that shows that you're not that interested to see her now. Give her your number. Eh, uh, no. You know, I live near here and have an apartment all to myself. No, no, we're not going there again. To be honest with you, I would say that A is probably the best option because she doesn't seem to be busy. She stood with you for about 20 minutes, so grab a coffee. If she agrees to go with the coffee, then there's something happening. So if you give her your number, she's just going to be like, oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, so let's go get a coffee. Come on, girl. This is not a representation of real life, though. Like if you've done this in real life, like it wouldn't it wouldn't happen like this. No, 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 no. If you stop down the street and go, hey, you look quite elegant. They'd be like, the fuck are you on about? I've got a few minutes right now. So do you want to just grab a coffee? What do you say? Yeah, OK. Great. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Come on. That's right. We're grabbing a coffee. She didn't even hesitate. She's running for it, mate. And there we go. We're going a coffee. I think you can find that. Is a date. Instant date. Mission accomplished. There you go. Easy. The very best result in the daytime is to go for the instant date. So that's correct. Well done. Thank uh, you. If you just Thank leave you, and get the number, you know, that's okay. Notice that it's just a quick thing. So it's quite easy to say yes to. It's quick. So it's easy to say yes to. <laughs> Oh, super seducer. Look at that. Confirm what you already knew, guys. I already knew it. Um, but there you go. Um, correct choice is 100%. Um, wrong choices explored 4 out of 22. Well, they were fun. Yo, what up, girl? Can I just talk to you for a second? Where are you headed? I'm busy. Yeah? Come back here. Given the choice, I often just chill at home. That's I like fair. chilling. 